Here's an old mirror that's been hanging around my shop for quite a while and I've been wanting to do something with it. I saved this picture such a long time ago as it appealed to me so much. I, like everyone else, would love to give this person credit, but apparently there's no credit to be given. It's been copied lots of times and everyone says the same thing. They would gladly credit the person. So I start by taking the mirror out because it's so darn heavy. It really is. These pins just screw out and here's what it looks like. So now that I can set that aside, I decide to make a shelf for the top, just like in the picture. So I'm trying to decide exactly how I want to do this. So I want it a little shorter, so I measure and cut off both ends. Uh, this piece of wood was cut previously, so I also straightened up one of the ends as well as cut the new end. Also, I find the piece is a little bit warped, so I'll show you how I remedy that situation. Today, with wood being so expensive, I hate to waste any piece of wood. So my solution is to only use half of the width of this piece and that way I get away with it. So I measure the center of the shelf and I measure the center of the mirror. So I decide where exactly to attach it. I just measure between the two posts in order to get my center measurement on the mirror. And then I just trace around that mirror shape because I want to uh, cut around that a little bit, uh, enlarging it just a tad. Double checking to make sure I have everything centered. So now what I do is I just take my tape measure and go around I see how far it is from the end and it was an inch and a quarter so I go around the entire uh, tracing of that shape and measure out an inch and a quarter and then I just freehand. It's kind of like connecting the dots. I begin cutting with my jigsaw the shape of the shelf. I'm looking forward to the time when I have a proper workspace coming soon that I can uh, do a little bit better job and not have such start and stop um, 
and have to work on my projects right in the middle of my retail space which is what happens often here so uh, look forward to a new workspace coming soon I love the laser line on the jigsaw it just really helps you stay straight so I had to flip this piece but that really corrected the um, the warped factor it really straightened the board out for me the remaining portion that I cut out is nice and flat so there it is just kind of held up against the other piece now I really struggled with these uh, pieces that are on the back of the mirror they're meant to attach it to the dresser I tried to remove them couldn't figure it out and they're not going anywhere but look how old this is 1916 that really helps me place the date of the mirror uh, it might be a little different than when that hardware piece was manufactured but nonetheless I take some wood glue and I uh, attach the pieces and clamp them and then here I'm showing you how to do a recessed hole um, so I already had a hole there that I drilled with a smaller bit and then I just take a larger bit and then just do a little bit at the top and it really helps that screw to be flush so it's not sticking out at the top you can also get a bit to do that but um, that's the uh, I don't have one of those bit ways to do it so I am using vintage duck egg I really struggled with what color am I gonna make this I was gonna do the classic shabby chic white like the inspiration picture but I really wanted some color I've just been painting just doing more wood construction type projects and used white and just not using a whole lot of color right now so I need a little color in my life so I just thought this color would give it kind of that same shabby chic vibe um, but it's called vintage duck egg and it's just a nice lovely color I, I just think it's beautiful always been one of my favorites so you may have noticed when I was painting the mirror portion I had it on a turntable that makes life easy much easier than running around a table like I'm doing here but you know you do what you have to do so this is my first coat and I will be adding a second coat it's got great coverage but when you look close you'll see it needs a second coat and of course I put my brush in a bag So I love to paint spindles and you might wonder after I painted this whether I still wanted to paint spindles or not but believe it or not I still enjoy it and also lots of people wonder why not mask off the mirror to me it takes less time to just paint it and then take a razor blade and just pull the dried paint away to each his own but that's my preferred method now it's time to embellish I'm looking at the cotton and eucalyptus transfer inspired by Lotus Theory designs from the bells and whistles line check out Lotus Theory designs YouTube channel she's amazing so I thought this transfer would be really cool so there's two sheets that repeat so um, I 
use almost the entire two sheets in my planning. So I get started by cutting some things apart, keeping in mind the direction that the mirror is um, going to be. So the curved portion of this mirror will be down at the bottom, unlike the way it was when it sat on a dresser. Transfers adhere to glass easily, and here I'm kind of putting some of it on the frame and some of it on the glass at the same time, overlapping a little bit. So when you put it on wood, you want to seal it. When you put it on glass, you're not able to seal it. So you are kind of taking a chance when you do that. So remember, I still have to paint the top of that shelf so I'm just laying it on its side to do that and I put two coats on it as well. I didn't mention before but I did sand that after I cut it out. Now I'm taking some wax and the reason I'm shaking it so much, this is easy peasy spray wax. You want to shake it until you don't hear it anymore. I am spraying this on and I am getting some on the mirror but we'll uh, wash that again with Windex later. So I'm just putting a coat on and wiping it back gently. And then I come back in and put some dirt on it. <laughs> this is Dixie Dirt in the color Earth. And I love this stuff because it's really kind of subtle. So I'm just using an artist's brush and just dipping in and just kind of going around those little um, nail heads if you will or bolt areas um, and around the edges so i'm just doing a little section at a time and you'll see when i get a little closer just how subtle this effect is so again i'm just spraying the wax on a little bit and just kind of dabbing at it and dipping my brush in and going around those details We'll give you another close-up so you see just how subtle this effect is. So you can see it more here. So I'm going around all those details on those spindles and at the bottom. And just wiping it back a little bit. And see how, I keep saying subtle, but that's exactly what it is. It's a little less than um, you would get with wax. I did um, aggressively get a little bit of the paint off, but that's okay. Um, kind of did it in a couple places intentionally then. And now I'm taking bronze gilding wax and going over those uh, wooden bolt um, areas. And then I'm also taking the hardware, which I did clean, and I'm using the bronze gilding wax on it too to uh, unify that look. So as I mentioned, I was going to put picture wire through those... Um, previous things that attached the mirror to the dresser, but I didn't feel comfortable enough with that, so I also added another um, layer of protection. So remember what our mirror looked like originally, and here's what it looks like now.
Thank you so much for watching today. If you like this video, how about giving it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed, you'll want to do that so you don't miss anything. Visit us at levintagedecor.company and on Instagram we're levintagedecor and on Facebook we're levintagedecor altuna. Stay well.